Thank you very much. And I am pre proud to receive, and I'm honored to accept your nomination for President of the United States. Hey, Bob. And may I, may I thank my dear friend and our great leader, Bob Dole, for that wonderful introduction. And, and let me say this, this nomination's not for me alone, it's for the ideas, principles, and values that we stand for. And my job, my job has been made easier by a leader who's taken a lot of unfair criticism with grace and humor, the Vice President of the United States, Dan Quayle. And I am very grateful to him. I want to, hey Phil. I want to talk tonight about the sharp choice that I intend to offer Americans this fall. A choice between different agendas, different directions, and yes, a choice about the character of the man you want to lead this nation. I know that Americans have many questions about our economy, about our country's future, even questions about me. And I'll answer them tonight, and first, I feel great, and I... And I'm heartened. I'm heartened by the polls, the ones that say I look better in my jogging shorts than the governor of Arkansas. Four years ago, Four years ago, I, I spoke about missions for my life and for our country. I spoke of one urgent mission, defending our security and promoting the American ideal abroad. Just pause for a moment to reflect on what we've done. Germany is united, and a slab of the Berlin Wall sits right outside this Astrodome. Arabs, Arabs and Israelis now sit face to face and talk peace, and every hostage held in Lebanon is free. The conflict, the conflict in El Salvador is over and free elections brought democracy to Nicaragua. Black and white South Africans cheered each other at the Olympics. The Soviet Union can only be found in history books. The captive nations of Eastern Europe and the Baltics are captive no more. And today on the, today on the rural streets of Poland, merchants sell cans of air labeled the last breath of communism.